Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this 2013 pre-owned Dodge Durango in white that we have on on the lot. Um, pretty nice vehicle. This start sitting right next to that black one. See, so give a comparison there. Um, let's check out the front. Now it's kind of windy today, so hopefully the wind won't interfere with the camera too much. Uh, we've got some um, fog lights there, and. And check out that awesome looking grill, the Durango. But uh, let's go ahead and move this way. Have alloy wheels, pretty good size there, too. Sitting on a set, nice set of Michelins. It's got the luggage rack on top, has four wheel disc brakes. And here's the key right here. Um, it does have remote start, so I'm going to go ahead and start it up. And uh, another one of the other options it has is to open up the tailgate, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, before I do that, um, on the back here, you see that it has the uh, backup sensors. It also has the backup camera. There's the lens right there. So, go ahead and open up the back. And as you can see, it's got a third row back here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put these headrests up, and I'll show you why I want to get up to the front. Um, so here's the back. You've got a uh, power supply there. Um, you've got some storage space. You've got some metal sliders there. There is a rechargeable flashlight right in there. A little place to uh, store stuff in that little pocket. And under here is some more storage pretty good amount of storage there and these seats do fold down in case you need additional uh, space so I'm going to put one down just to give you an idea of what it looks like back here in the third row you got cup holders armrests and stuff nice leather seats so and then lift them up just kind of grab this thing lift it right up right now now I can um, drop the tailgate um, with the key here with my hand by just grabbing it or I can push this button here And that way it closes right down um, All right, so let me uh, demonstrate another thing before I go in the back door um, This does have a proximity system key so I can have this key in my pocket and I can just walk up to the door put my hand here opens up the doors. If I want to relock it, I just push this button. That way I don't actually have to take the key out of my pocket and actually use it. I can have have it just, um, you know, in my pocket or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and lock, unlock all the doors with the key. And let's check out back here. Um, here's the inside of the back door. We got your water bottle holder there, a little bit of storage space, speaker, and you got like a tan and like a brown uh, theme here with some wood accents here. And here's the inside of the back seats, um, second row seats. It's got nice firm quality leather. Armrest with cup holders there. Got uh, uh, the vents here in the back as well as heated seats here in the back and a AC and adapter open that up so you know what I'm talking about so you can plug that stuff in there charge your laptop or something like that you also have some controls up here and then you got vents in the ceiling lights and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lift this up you see how that kind of flops down and then you can lift the strap up like so that way you can access the third row that and um, it's kind of like assisted it's like a piston like has like a like a piston or a spring or something there so that way it's not that hard to lift up um, you just push it back down go like that and that way it's pretty easy it's easy to do with one hand alrighty and go ahead and go up here here's the inside of the front door 
Now you've got your um, electric seats, and you've got this buttons right here for uh, set presetting two configurations on that power seat. You got your stores there at the bottom, including a uh, water bottle holder, um, door locks here, window controls, or window power windows and side mirror controls. And you got wood, wood grade accent here. Nice big speaker there. Um, it does have automatic headlights. And as far as the power seats, this does have the lumbar support where you can adjust the lumbar um, pressure on, the, on your back in and out or up and down and that way you can get it right at the right, right spot. So I'm going to hop in. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust the seat a little bit. Now it has like this thing right here where it says remote start active push start button because I use this the remote start on the key I still have to push this button here in order to turn everything on so now the vehicle is um, is ready to go so here's a steering wheel and it is a leather wrap steering wheel and it is um, comfortable and it has a pretty good amount of thickness to it now on the steering wheel we have some buttons so we got some buttons here this side is your cruise control uh, this side is for your menu in the middle but before I get to that on the back of the steering wheel these buttons here I don't know if you can see that but while your hands comfortably right here um, right back here is your is a volume button so I can adjust, turn the volume up and down on the radio on that side and I can change the stations um, or change tracks or different things like that on this side so it makes it convenient to keep your hands on the wheel and um, you know change them settings on the radio so that's pretty cool turn the AC on a little bit all right um, so on this side you've got these buttons here now you do have a ability to pair a cell phone that has Bluetooth capability to the um, to the sound system here to where you can just when you hear your phone ring you just push this button and you just say hello and, and talk to the people through the sound system in the vehicle and um, there's some voice recognition commands associated with that and that's what this VR is um, so back to these arrow buttons um, right here this little menu here in the middle you've got your gauges there which are pretty typical looking gauges as far as you know people understanding what they mean but here in the middle um, at the top left you got a digital compass on the top right you got a digital temperature and um, and in the middle right now it's set to vehicle speed which it gives you a digital readout of your speed uh, while you're driving so I'm gonna go back out of that and I'm pushing these buttons here in order to do this um, so now I'm gonna go to it has different trips and I'm gonna go into the tire pressure and it's gonna show me the tire pressure on each tire I'll go back out of that I'm going to go into vehicle info and I'm going to see specific information related to the engine and stuff like that and the engine hours and uh, so I mean it's basically you got a menu system you scroll up and down and you go back and forth into the information that you want and um, so that's how that works and that's what these buttons are for here um, Alrighty, so let's go on over here to the radio. And the radio is kind of like a computer system, which it has a hard drive. Um, I think it's around 30 gigs. And you can load that hard drive um, by putting like a USB device in here and putting um, like songs or pictures and stuff like that um, into the hard drive. So I push my files. Um, you can see where this is my music, my pictures, manage hard drive stuff like that so let's go see here um, it has 28 gigabytes available so there's nothing on there right now so I'm going to exit out of that it does have satellite radio serious satellite radio it has an auxiliary input here that way you can um, hook up an iPod or a phone or something like that through that auxiliary input now if you wanted to load files with a CD or just play right off of a CD you can push this button here and opens up the screen and you can see right in here there's a, um, a place to put a CD or a DVD disc 
and it'll read off of that. So you got some options there. Now you also um, there's your push your button in case you want to uh, answer the phone with that button instead of the one on the steering wheel. Another feature is I'm going to go ahead and put my foot on the brake, put it in reverse, and then you'll see the backup camera there. Um, and you can see those lines to the right and left. That just gives you an idea of what the trajectory is of the vehicle um, while you're backing up. I guess you could say like the width of the vehicle. So because it is a wide angle vent lens, it does distort the image a little bit. So that's what those lines are there for. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in park and you'll see all that goes away. All right, so down here is your climate control settings. Um, you, you've got a dual climate control for the driver and passenger. Um, so that's what these are here for. And uh, you can also sync them, and that way it won't be dual anymore. It'll just be like a normal. Your heated seat controls are here. And uh, your fan control. So and it's got your, your uh, basically your temperatures. You can change your temperatures up and down like so. All right, right here, um, this is your stability control, uh, traction control button. You can turn that off if you like, but it's, it, it, the, the, the default is that it stays on when you turn the vehicle on. Here's your four-way emergency flashers here. Um, this button is for that AC adapter behind in the back seat. You can turn that on if you need to use it. It's not always on. Um, you can turn your parking sensors off in case you're backing up to something really close and you know you're gonna be backing up to something and you don't want it beeping at you, you can just turn that off um, first, you know, first, however long you want to use it. Um, right here, this uh, cl lowers your back, your back, that third row back there. Can you see that? I'm going to push the button right now and see, see what happens. You see how it lowers the headrest? That way you can kind of get an idea. If there's nobody in the back seat and you just kind of need to lower those headrests down so you can see better, it's a quick and easy way to do that. Um, so that's why I raised them up earlier, just so I can demonstrate that. Now you can't raise them. You can't push it to raise it, so it's just to lower them. Um, here's a little storage pocket there. You got some storage down there as long as, as, as well as a power supply. You've got some uh, cup holders, and these are illuminated at night. You've got like uh, this little ambient light around here. And there's your shifter. There's a little storage pocket there. Here's your armrest, and this armrest lifts up in two parts. The first part is a padded shallow place that you can put like a small tablet or cell phone or something, and you got a USB charger here as well. Now I can also lift the whole thing up. See it has two buttons, that's how you can lift up the two sections. And here's the inside of that pocket. Now it does have a charger in there as well, so you got some storage space as well as it has a power supply. Um, right over here is your glove compartment. As you can see, it comes down pretty slow. And that way, it comes doesn't come slamming down and that, make your stuff fall out or whatever. And the inside is like is padded with felt or something, so it's nice and soft. Um, right here, you got your wood grain, and this is real wood. Um, it's just coated with a coating to keep it from getting messed up, I guess. So there's that. There's the passenger seat. Now right up here is a um, place to put your sunglasses. This does have an auto dim rear view mirror. Uh, now you've got a, some lights right here, quick access lights. You can push this for like a spotlight and you can push this for more of a flood. Uh, and that's the same thing on both sides. You can also open and close your tailgate with this button. Um, right here is your garage door controls. You can um, there's a procedure on setting them to your garage door and then that way you can open up your garage door with those buttons. Um, right here is like a little infrared thermometer I guess type thing. Um, some people ask what that is, that's, that's what that little thing is. It's for your temperature control. Alright so here's the uh, visor and it's got a mirror with the lights. Same thing on the other side. And let's see here. There's probably some other features that I forgot to go over because there is a lot. This does have a lot of features. Um, the seat's very comfortable. It's a good size vehicle. It's solid. It has very good safety ratings. There's lots of airbags everywhere. 
Um, give you an idea of what it looks like back here again. So, so if you're interested in the vehicle, if you want to come take it for a test drive, uh, my name is Mike and my phone number and email address will be in the description. See you next time.